Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. Welcome to the Trip Advice Daily TV Show, where I help you get the girl that you want. And on today's episode, I'm here in Uduwalawa. It's very difficult for me to pronounce Uduwalawu. Udu, Uduwalawu. <laughs> Finally said that right. Uduwalawa National Park. So I'm here today to talk to you about this really creepy thing that you are doing that you probably don't notice. And if you're not doing it, well, at least I'm going to be telling you what it is so you never ever do this. And trust me, girls know it and when they find out you're doing it, it is just really creepy, really awkward and already starts you off with a, a bad note. So I'm going to cut right to the chase here. What you're doing is you're staring. You're staring at girls. A girl walks into a coffee shop and you're just looking at her because she's pretty and you keep on following her. Or she's on the sidewalk and you see her and you keep staring at her. You see her down there, you're looking at her. She walks in the club or the bar and you're just turning your head slowly looking at her. She feels those eyes on her and it makes her very uncomfortable and we don't want to do this. All right, I got to get out of this area because there's mosquitoes just killing me. Uh, but just quick update here is that uh, right now we're in Uduwalawa National Park and we just came from Ella and uh, we're here for the next day. We're gonna do a safari which you'll, catch, which you'll catch on tomorrow's vlog, but this is pretty cool. And on the way we stopped and saw a waterfall, but you probably already saw drone footage of that because my editor put that in. By the way, that's my note to you, buddy. Put that in. Put that in. I want to show you something. You know that you are in a cool place when you have a key that looks like this. One of those medieval keys. That means that you're somewhere cool. FYI. I'm not sure if this is the point in the video where I have to actually explain to you why it's creepy when, uh, when you stare at a girl. I'm just trying to think of how I can explain why that is something that is so uncomfortable. But uh, I think my best thing I could say is safety reasons. You know, a girl is not gonna feel safe. One of the biggest predators in her life are men. That's right. So if she sees a guy that's just staring at her, that's very predatory and it's very awkward and uncomfortable. And she has no idea who you are and she has no idea what your intentions are. So staring at her for uh, a very long time can be very uncomfortable. Now, of course, if you see a girl and you look at her for two to three seconds, no big deal. I'm just talking about that extended long period of time. So what should you do? Very simple. If you see a girl that's worth staring at, that means you are obviously attracted to her. If she's worth the time to sit there and stare at her, then you need to approach her. So really the biggest lesson in this video, monkey? The biggest lesson in this video, besides not staring, is if you see a girl that you actually want to talk to or you think is really good looking, go talk to her. That should be an indication that awareness right there should be telling you, okay, this is a girl I need to go talk to. And the faster you do it, the better it is. Because the longer you stare at her and the longer you contemplate going up and talking to her, the harder it's gonna be, the more painful it's gonna be. So make this easy on yourself and go up and talk to her as soon as possible. Tomorrow we're gonna to be going on a safari, like I said. You're gonna see some cool footage from that. Here's the Jeep right behind me that we're gonna be taking. Never been on a safari before, so hopefully we see some cool stuff. And if I see some cool stuff, you better believe that you're gonna see some cool stuff too. Can you please write down below in the comments if you've done this before? 
just say guilty. I know I've been doing a lot of videos where I'm calling you guys out saying like, don't do this, don't do this, but let's do this again because I think we need to bring an awareness that you're doing it and also an awareness that other guys are doing it to see how many guys are just sitting there staring at girls. So write down guilty below if you've done it before. It's um, close to 10 p.m. now and I'm gonna be going to bed very soon because I gotta wake up for the 5 a.m. safari, but I wanted to finish this video up and talk more about this concept. The reason why I'm talking so softly is because I'm in a B&B, &B, bed and breakfast here in Uduwale. Uduwale. I'm here and so it's basically I'm staying in someone's house and there's multiple rooms with guests. Anyways, so we're talking about this <clears throat> concept of not being a creepy guy. So here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna put another video in the description below where I talk about how to not be creepy. I'm also gonna put in the description below a video about how to start the conversation with a girl because I'm telling you right now, we don't wanna stare and we don't wanna be predatory, creepy guys. Instead, we wanna be the guys who are conversing with these women who are trying to uh, have a social interaction and then build attraction. That's the whole point. Guys who stare are guys who do nothing about it, right? They sit there and they fantasize about that girl potentially being the girl. That's what's going through their mind. They're thinking all these thoughts about what if, what if, what if. I no longer want anyone in this trip advice community to ever be a what if guy, okay? No more what if guys. Instead, we're guys who take action. So this might've been a little bit of a shorter video, but it's all good. There's plenty of links below. You know where to do, you know where to go next, you know what to do next. I'll see you on tomorrow's video where I'll be going on a very interesting safari. And I'll be pressing record on this little guy in about seven hours. Peace.